Hey humans, today we are exploring Google's new AI model designed specifically for education called LearnLM. What an original name, eh? LearnLM is part of Google's Gemini family of AI models. You might have heard of those before. OpenAI has ChatGPT, Anthropic has Claude, and Google has Gemini. Now, maybe one day I will build some AI models and I'll call them Panther, but watch this space. So Learn LM is a little bit more special to us L&D folks because it's been fine tuned with education in mind. Now for the non-techies, fine tuning just means giving an AI model additional training in a specific area. In this case, a version of Gemini has been trained on learning science principles. And we're gonna get into that. This model has been designed to provide personalized adaptable support that apparently aligns with how we learn best, whatever the hell that means. So how does this all work? Let's unpack that. Now, I will say before we get into the deep details, let it be known, I am neither an expert in learning science or AI. I am an explorer of tech and learning worlds. And what I'm sharing is taken from Google's press releases. So please don't shoot the messenger with hate comments. Now that we've got that out of the way, from the mouth of Google, Learn LM incorporates, apparently, several key principles from learning science. And here's what they are. They have incorporated active learning, which they say is designed to encourage practice and effort by giving timely feedback when using this model. Cognitive load management. Man, that sounds fancy. The model structures information in a way that prevents overload. I will believe that when I see it personally. Then we go on to say adaptability. That's pretty generic, whatever that means. Curiosity stimulation, which keeps people engaged by offering content that sparks interest and motivation. And it's not at all a torturous exercise. And the last one is metacognition support. These models have been designed to reflect progress and help individuals plan next steps. Kind of building this in a coaching mechanism that nudges people and the hope is to help them think a bit more critically about not just what they're learning but how they're learning as well. I've not really seen many people talk about it. It is out there in the wild though so it's being used right now. You might even use it and you're totally unaware and that's why I kind of call shadow AI at its best. Google has already integrated this into a lot of its tools. So Google Search, YouTube, and Google Classroom. People actually use Google Classroom. Anyway, you can find Learn LM in products such as Gemini's Gems. You can't make up these names, honestly. So a gem from Gemini is basically Google's version of a custom GPT or an AI assistant that you can build in Google's Gemini AI models. They have built one called Learning Coach that I believe should be available now for people to use if you use Gemini. And they also added some pretty neat things to YouTube. So on YouTube videos, you'll actually be able to ask questions and get explanations while watching videos that they categorize as educational. Now, you've got that stuff, which you may be more familiar with, you may have seen, but they've also been working on bringing the Learn LM model into a couple of new tools. Now, I should say, both of which I have signed up to a waitlist. Both of those I have sat on for months. So if anyone from Google is watching this, please let me in. Now, the first one, kind of an offshoot of Notebook LM. And for those of you who've seen my work and videos, you know that I'm a big fan of Notebook LM for research and analysis. Illuminate is what the tool is called is basically the audio overview standalone tool that sits in Notebook NM. So how it works is that you should be able to upload kind of any research, any articles, and it will convert them into those audio conversations that you have heard on Notebook LM. Whether this product will survive, I don't know because Notebook LM is pretty popular and the feature is in there as well. The second product is called Learn About. And Learn About is a new Google Labs experience. For those of you who are unaware, Google Labs is a place where basically Google just release loads of their experimental tools. A lot of them are really learning and education focused. So 
It's a really good place to check out from time to time. Learn About is a space where you can chat about anything to do with learning and education. So what it's supposed to do is help you explore information and turn that into better understanding by apparently bringing together high quality content, learning science principles and chat into one experience. It's kind of like Google search, just asking questions, but with learning science principles baked into the AI model, you can frame pictures, videos, all of that stuff. You can try it out. You can sign up to the wait list. I have not been able to try out either product. As I say, I'm more aware of Illuminate because it kind of sits in Notebook LM at the moment in time. So maybe the easy option is to go to Notebook LM and try out that one. But Learn About looks interesting. Now, if this all sounds tasty to you and you are thinking, how do I get access to this model? Well, fret not my fellow human because Learn LM is available as an experimental model in Google AI Studio. Very aware, a lot of you watching this will probably have no idea what Google AI Studio is. What this means is that you and I can test this model and create customized tools for LND with it. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. The next part of this video, I'm gonna jump in to AI Studio where I'll show you the Learn LM model in action and how you can use it too. Now, this is zero cost, by the way. You just need a free Google account and I'll break down step by step what this tool is, how you can use it for Learn LM and also for other experimental models that you might want to play around with if you are a fellow tech geek. So I will see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, friends. So this is Google AI Studio. For those of you who are non-techy, this is basically an area for developers or really anyone to get their hands on Google's different AI models, play around with them, test them out. I will do a separate video on the A to Z of Google AI Studio. But for the sake of this demo, we're going to look specifically at Learn LM. So once you land on Google AI Studio and you find the link to that in the description or notes, wherever you're viewing this, all you need to do is go over to create prompt here. So we'll click create prompt and it will bring us to this screen. And then we have these options on the right hand side. So what we want to do is set our model. So you'll see in the drop down, there's loads of models that you can play with and it gives you loads of information about them as well. We want to select Learn LM 1.5 Pro Experimental. It is still experimental, as I mentioned earlier on. So there may be some issues from time to time. It tells you your token count there. So obviously how much you're using. Keynote, temperature. So a lot of people who are kind of non-technical, don't look at AI models too often, won't know about temperature. Easiest way to describe temperature is basically this enables you to look at how crazy do you want a model to be or how accurate or stable do you want a model to be? Now you have this for any AI model that you use, but generally you can't see it as an end user. It's usually only developers and people building the tools that can set that. So a temperature, as it says here, you know, we can ramp up the creativity or we can bring it down. Right now it's in the middle, so it's at one. So I wanted to get crazy, crazy responses. I could ramp that all the way up to two. But actually what I want to do is because I'm using this from an ND principle, from an education principle, I want to bring this down to about 0 0.6. Let's say 0 0.7 actually. I'm pretty comfortable with that. I want it to be stable. I don't want any maddening responses happening in this demo here. Now, if you are a bit more techy, there are more settings you can mess around with in tools and advanced settings. For the sake of this demo, for general users, we don't need to do that. So we can do on this screen, and you can see here, Google says that we're now using this Learn LM model. And what will we build? And I mean that you already see these starter prompts. So these starter prompts are things that are built in for you to mess around with. So we can work with Learn LM to teach us a concept, to help us with some homework, or to do some guided learning. So you're more than welcome to click on one of those and what that would do, and I'll show you now. So if I was to go to guided learning, what we'll get is a couple of things. So what you can see is these system instructions up here. So the system instructions are just the instructions that a developer will set for the model to tell the model what to do, to how to behave with a user. And you can see those up here at the top of the screen. And then what we've got here, here is Google's always started the conversation for us. So Google's already put, hey, and then we have an explanation. 
from uh, the model basically saying what it's here to help you with. Now, you can mess around with that. You can change that if you want to. Now, actually, what I want to do is something different. So what you can do is you can go to Google's documentation and you can look at Learn LM. And again, this is here for developers. I will put this link in the description or wherever you're viewing this as well. And we can actually see example system instructions right here. So again, system instruction for non-techie people is the instruction that developers are given the tool and how to behave and interact with a user. And then a user prompt is what you see there is what you put in as a prompt, what you as a user would say. So as an example, what I'm going to do is take this system instruction for teaching a concept. And by the way, there's, there's loads more here that you can play around with, but I want to do teaching a concept. So I can just copy this here and then I can go back into studio and I can go to system instructions at top and then I'll just paste that in there. And then this model knows what I want to do. Uh, I'll show you one I did earlier as well. And then we will mess around in here. So if we look at one I did earlier and what I did is put system instructions in and basically I spoke to the model about what is the relevance, relevance even of humans in a AI operated process. And then you can see it's really encouraging me to think critically about the role of humans in anything to do with AI really. So we spoke about where do I see it being used? I talked about marketing. We then spoke about describing one specific way it's used in that field. And then really encouraging me to think about how does the human still support, still interact with some of those processes. So that's a very, very simple way of uh, doing that. But we'll take this prompt again. We'll go to create prompt and I'll put this in here. And then what we'll do here is we'll put in our prompt. So again, system instruction up here, what it all needs to know. And then this is the prompt that we're going to use. So I'm just going to say, and we are going to mess around. We'll just say, explain the relevance of Descard being a replicant in Blade Runner. If you've not seen Blade Runner, I apologize, but this is a pretty big deal. We just spell Blade Runner properly. And then what we'll do is hit run. So we hit run, and that's us now talking to the tool. So you can see here, let's start with a foundational question. What is the most obvious difference between humans and replicants in the film? I haven't seen Blade Runner in ages now, so I'm gonna get caught here. So I'm just gonna say, well, replicants are clones. And let's just see what we'd get here. And the, the point of this is to look at how this is actually applying those learning science principles to help us think deeper about what we're trying to achieve. Okay, so we can say, yep, you're right, replicants are clones, but that itself isn't the biggest difference. Clones to human beings. Thinking about their purpose in society, what makes replicants fundamentally different from humans and how they're treated and what they're allowed to do. Uh, I'm just gonna say, to be honest, I can't remember. I haven't seen the film in a while. And what you can see here is it changes tack. So we spoke about earlier on what it was talking about with adaptability and helping us think more critically. What we can see here is that it takes a different approach and it's asking me some pretty deep questions. And what we can do here is give feedback as well, if we want to, to say how this is working. And we can really get into the meat of this. I'm not going to go into that for the sake of the demo because this video is already quite long. But it's really easy for you to come on here and just play around with this. It's completely free. You can change all the settings you've seen here. You can change models and really, really simple to do. I will include all of the links that you need to do this wherever you're watching this. So this is on YouTube. It'll be in the description. If you're watching this on some social media feed, I'll make sure to link to a blog with everything around this too and how to do it. So that's it, folks. So there's a specific AI model from Google called Learn LM, which is really focused on education and LND, you could say in many aspects. It's built on learning science principles. It's not going to be perfect. It's still evolving. I think it's like really cool to explore and try out. I hope it's been helpful and I will speak to you in the next one.